Welcome back, friends. Mark Piotter here. You know, Christmas time is a great time, and I already made one video about the Christmas song, but I just couldn't help myself to do another. There's got to be some guitar players out there that are wondering, isn't there an easier way to play this song other than using the 19 chords in the real book? Well, I got it down to 16 chords, <laughs> but hopefully these won't be as bad and as difficult for you. Uh, here they are. We're, don't worry, we're going to go through these one by one, but quickly. Uh, the difficulty level is probably intermediate. Now, I'm going to perform this with a simple finger picking pattern. I'm going to show that to you first. Using a, a regular D major 7 fingering, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my thumb to pluck the bass note of every single chord, and I'm going to anchor my one, two, three fingers on the G, B, and E strings respectively. I'm just going to keep them there. And then my thumb is going to pluck the bass notes. All right? So it's going to be like this. Bass note, then G string, then both of the other two strings, the B and the E string, and the G string. That's it. Four plucks. And the beat is one and two and one and two and like this. One and two and one and two and. Okay, so for every single chord in my version of the song, we're going to use just four strings of your guitar. And to review, the thumb plucks the bottom note, and then the other three notes are contained on the G, B, and the E strings for the whole song. Okay, so the plucking is pretty easy. Do this D major 7, then a G major 7, D major 7, G major 7. All right. You're going to know a lot of these chords. The E minor, you already know. Notice how I'm not touching these other strings, because we're not using them. F sharp minor. You don't have to do a bar. I do it like this. Okay. Let's go right to the hardest part of the song, which is the seventh and eighth measures. Uh, where he says, uh, folks dressed up like Eskimos. Okay, folks is C sharp seven. All right, and I'm, I'm doing that uh, this way. And then comes F sharp. Now, normally you would think of playing an F sharp major seven, but I thought that might be kind of hard for some people to get from this chord to this chord quickly. So I changed it to F sharp add nine, like that, and that way it's a little easier to get from chord to chord. And then just change. See how you do that? You change these two for these two. And that's how you get from those two chords. All right, the next chord is C7. It's only four notes, we don't need this extra note here. Then F major 7. All right, so that's the hardest part of the song. <laughs> All right, later on there's going to be a B7. But unlike the normal B7 with four fingers, I'm going to remove that one of those fingers, make it a little easier. G minor, we're going to have a G minor in the song. You can figure it that way. Whatever way is comfortable for you, maybe you like this better. Okay? Even the C chord. We're not even doing the, the, the uh, E on the D string. All right.
right, so I hope that's enough uh, explanation, and let's get started uh, playing and singing the Christmas song. Let's do it nice and slow so you can play and sing along with me. Let's try it out. One and two and three and we'll do the D chord and the G chord. Here we go. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir. And folks dressed up like Eskimos. some mistletoe help to make the season bright tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight they know that sad on his way <laughs> I can't that's that long he's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh and every mother's child is gonna spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly and so simple phrase to kids from 1 to 92 although it's been said many times many ways Merry Christmas to Merry Christmas, everybody.